So one of the issues we've run into with using just a string is the fact that strings are immutable. So what do we do? You know, if I have an integer that's too big, we used a uh, big integer class. Well, guess what? We have something just like that for our string data type. We can start to expand on it using something called the string builder class. We also can use something called string buffer. It's a little different, but we'll talk about buffers a little later on in the semester. Well, one thing to take note of is you can see we've got the UML kind of constructors going on here, uh, and we have a noR constructor, one that takes an integer, and one that takes a string. Well, that integer one, that one's interesting. Even if we look at, say, for example, the noR, notice how it says it has a capacity of 16. And then we can say we can make that any number we want just by passing an integer. The idea behind this is, you know, if we think about a standard string for a second, a standard string can have no characters whatsoever, and so this is a dot length of zero, or it can have a giant large amount to it that I have no idea about. You know, that can be dot length 5,000, 50,000. You know, I could put the complete works of William Shakespeare inside of a string, well, hopefully abridged, but I could do that. Now, that's kind of annoying. So what we can work with is now this string builder class and we say that this string builder class I want it to have sort of the capacity I want it to be a, a specific size that I can work with string builder so say for example 10 I have the capacity of storing 10 characters in this now you're thinking all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that doesn't sound like a lot and you're telling me that this is supposed to be more flexible well, what happens is, let's say, for example, we do that. We create the capacity to store 10 characters, capacity, and I add in the word welcome. That's seven characters already being used, just one word. Then I add in a space. Now I'm at eight. And I add in the word two. Now I'm at 10. Oh, my goodness, I can't do anything else. Mr. Guida, you said that this was supposed to be more flexible. It is. Guess what happens when I do this. Java doesn't freak out. The string builder doesn't freak out. What happens is it increases the capacity. Capacity. So then when I do this, even though I'm at 16 characters total, guess what? I have all of a sudden enough to work on that. So here's a little exercise for you. If you were to write this code out, what is the capacity? I'll let you take a second. And we'll just keep on moving on. So we have tons of different methods available. That was a terrible squiggly. But I have, with my UML again, some class methods that I can work with. Uh, I have, for example, append. You see there are overloaded appends. There are four append methods append because we can overload a method. We can overload a method. Each one of these has a different data signature. One is adding a char uh, array. One has a char array with an offset and a length to it. One says just any primitive data type will work, you know, an integer, a double, whatever, char. And then, guess what? We have the string one. Then you see we have sort of delete, uh, delete, delete char at. So if I wanted to uh, say, for example, we look at this string array, I come in afterwards and I do st uh, the string builder. If I come in and I say str build delete char at char at one what happens well that e goes away and my string suddenly without having to create something new make substrings string concatenate it becomes welcome to java java without the e no e 
that's pretty nice if you think about it. And we can continue going on. We've got our insert, so I can insert four different ways, just like I could have pinned. I've got a replace. Replace. I have even here's a nice one. Reverse. I can take my string and I can just reverse it around. That's nice. We have a few others. So again, I told you what was the capacity of string build. Guess what you can do? You can come in here and you can just simply write out str build dot capacity. Capacity. There we are. I meant to do that. And it will tell you how big string builder is. And then you can say, oh well, even though it, it's really big and I only need 16 characters, guess what? We have something str build dot trim to size because again you know we don't need to store up too much space on our computer so we say shrink it down to only the characters so as you can see we've got now these classes that we can work with play with and do a little bit more uh, flexible control with our basic data